I've got to say, this has got to be the best Nerf Ultra Blaster of 2020. What I mean by that is when you put a drop-in kit in this thing, it is it just takes it so far beyond what it used to be. I went over to AK Blaster Mods, grabbed one of the drop-in kits for this, and wow, was it worth it. I just, I can't get over how amazing this thing is after you put in a drop-in kit. Still has that really light prime that we all love that a small child could probably prime this thing. The only difference is now it hits 170 plus FPS. Whew. So as you can see here, I have done the upgrade on this and I also painted it. So we're gonna take a look at this, this blaster today. We're gonna do some tests. We're gonna check out its uh, accuracy and just see how good this thing is and also check some more chronograph numbers. So the Ultra Ferro kit from AK Blaster Mods is a must have in my opinion. I'm just gonna put it out there right now. If you have a Ferro, do yourself a favor and grab the kit. You don't have to get all crazy with it like I did and paint it all up like this or mod it. The kit is extremely easy just to open up and drop in. In addition, I'm gonna put a link to Fox Games. It's at Xbox Games, because over there he does a great job at showing how to install this drop-in kit. I'll also include a link to Project Nerf in which he does a pretty nice cosmetic job on this with the kit, and he actually takes off the scope, which we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, so stick around. So right off the bat, let's talk about performance because that's what, that's what we all wanna know about. Number one. This kit brings the half dart up to about 170 FPS. It, it was just phenomenal. So I'll probably put the average around 165 or so, but yeah, that's a, that's a really crazy power for the, the level of prime. Cause it's nothing. There, there's like, that is no effort to prime. I can prime it with my pinky. Let's test that theory. Pinky Prime, nothing. A small child, well, I mean, yes, it's a long prime, but a small child could prime this and shoot 170 FPS. That is crazy. Now, if you're looking for a true Nerf sniper rifle, I'd recommend this. Now, obviously this barrel is ridiculous. I'm just gonna come out and say it, but that's why I chose it. Because, you know, I wanted this thing to just be a big comical looking sniper rifle and that's what it is i'm very happy with it so we also took it out and did some range checks so i shot cups at 30 feet obviously this thing is uh very precise at 30 feet and then i shot some cups at 50 feet and for the most part it's a it's a good tagger at 50 feet and i decided we're going to set up a target at 100. unfortunately for fred this is a zombie strike blaster now and so i had to i had to shoot some zombies with it so I took Fred, my residential zombie, and I put him out in the field at 100 feet and took some shots at him. It took one mag, and I was able to tag Fred about three times. So that's cool. That, I'm, I'm fine with that at 100 feet. So overall, highly recommend this blaster with the kit. The Nerf Ultra Ferro is okay. I did a review on that if you want to check that out. Essentially, it wasn't really a game changer. It was just kind of, oh, it's another Ultra Blaster, yay. But after putting this dropping kit, I put this up against, you know, something like a Nexus Pro or even an Aeon Pro or even a Dart Zone Pro. I give this a little bit more style. It's got more style points in my opinion. So currently in the entire market that I can think of, this is the most impressive Nerf blaster that is bolt action. I can't think of anything that would be better than this. So truly amazing, big fan of this. If you have the Nerf Ultra Ferro, Highly recommend to head over to AK Blaster Mods and grab this kit before, before they're gone. 
Before we wrap up, I'll just go ahead and touch uh, a little bit on the paint job here. This is uh, what I've been doing lately. I've been doing a lot of zombie strike. And this zombie strike paint job is kind of to go with my loadout, my zombie strike loadout, which go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell because there's some big content coming on my channel. I can't really show too much of it right now, but let's just say I'm working on a very epic HVZ loadout and some of this type of stuff is gonna be in it, you know. This is obviously the sniper rifle for it. This is kind of the style I've been going for, for this HVZ loadout. And as you can see, we got a, it's very cartoonish. You know, I, I kind of wanted to do some, kind of made it, I wanted it to look kind of like a cartoon. So not only is the blaster loud and obnoxious in color and very easily can be identified as a toy, but it also looks cartoonish, which I like even more. This front end you see right here is off of my mini gun. So when I did my mini gun, I chopped off the front of this because I attached the big Titan minigun to it. Well, this is still a cool muzzle break in my opinion. So I figured I'd go ahead and elongate, extend this muzzle a bit with this big obnoxious break. And I think it's, uh, it's right on the verge of being too big, but that's fine. I know, I know some people are probably not gonna like this, but I think it's, uh, it, ju it just worked. It fit perfectly. So the old barrel, the ultra barrel fit perfectly in there onto the cap. As you can see, it just, it just snugged right in there. And all I had to do is add a little epoxy to kind of build up the sides. So it wouldn't really wiggle around. So it just was meant to be. Plus I didn't want to throw this away and I didn't, I didn't know where else I was going to use it. This is just perfect in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think this thing looks cool? Or is it just a little bit too ridiculous for you? Well, I'm Dr. Flux, and that pretty much wraps up my review of the AK Blaster Mods Ultra Ferro Short Dart Conversion Kit. Let me know in the comment section if this is something you want to get. If you would like to support this channel, head on over to my Amazon affiliate link to purchase the Ferro. I will also provide a link to AK Blaster Mods in which you can purchase the kit. I'm a huge fan of this. I have a lot of good things to say. The only thing else I'm probably going to do to this is eliminate the scope and put some uh, Picatinny up here. But other than that, I'm really happy with this build. I'm also very curious to know if other people have had this much success with this blaster. So let me know in the comment section if you have this dropping kit and if you've used it before and what kind of gains you saw because I'm a big fan of this thing. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy foam flinging.